Right then, let's talk films as we always do on a Thursday because it's time to get our films recommendations with James Lutford, our movie cricket fr cr critic from Stratford upon Avon. Very good morning to you, James. Good morning. Uh, lovely part of the world, Stratford upon Avon. I was there only last week celebrating the praises of Andrew Posse for making the Olympic final. Uh, so there you go. And I was just saying they've got the world's smallest cafe there because it's in a phone box uh, <laughs> on the on the riverside there. So listen, yep, uh, you know it well, I know, James. Now, James, you've got your good, bad and on demand for us this morning. So we are starting with the good. Where are we going? We are going with uh, the new comedy Free Guy in cinemas from Friday. Ryan Reynolds plays a man who tries to become a hero of his own story when he realises his life is a video game. Hey, bud, you ever think that there's got to be more? More than what? The stuff we do day after day. Being shot at? Run over? Ah. Taking hostage? Everybody down on the ground! Today's going to be different. Is this kind of like The Matrix meets Pixels, James? That'd be a good way of describing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of inspirations going on there. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, it's, as you say, a familiar to a lot of movies. There's also a bit of a Lego movie in there, a bit of the Truman Show in particular. But I thought it was quite fun and a lot of gags. Uh, Jodie Comer from Killing Eve is great as a programmer and a Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' is ally as he tries to sort of fight against the, the simulation he's in. Um, it's light. It's entertaining. Uh, it's a film that if you know Ryan Reynolds' brand of comedy, that kind of very quick fire uh, comedy where he's throwing out a lot of gags, a lot of um, slapstick going on. Uh, I think this is just it's just a film that wants to make you smile. And I, I think that's hard to uh, hard to turn down at this moment. Did Ryan Reynolds play any of the Marvel heroes? Was he? He was Deadpool. He was Deadpool, wasn't he? It's, yes, it's, I, that's why I'm thinking because of the audio hearing that I'm, I'm, I'm sort of hearing Deadpool coming through in that a bit as well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, um, Ryan Reynolds has always been, I think prior to Deadpool, he was one of those people that everyone really liked. They never seemed to find that big hit. Yeah. Deadpool was that big hit. And uh, I think he, he's he's gone down that road of this kind of very sarcastic, very uh, quick-witted brand of comedy that's made him a star. And there's a lot of that here. And I think if you're a fan of his particular brand of comedy, this will be great for you. There you go. Just as it says on the tin, it's a creosote Ryan Reynolds movie. There we go. Uh, <laughs> right then, we're going with the bad next. What have you got for us? Uh, the bad, I've got the animated film Spirit Untamed in cinemas now, an animated film about a young girl who embarks on a journey to save a horse she is bonded with named Spirit. Welcome to Miradero. And Cora, did you ever see my mom perform? Oh, yes. She was a legend. Fortuna? Hola. You look just like your mother. <laughs> you must be Lucky Prescott. I like your dress. Oh, and your shoes. I didn't know shoes could be cute. Now, I've got a feeling that I've got a nine-year-old niece, and I've got to imagine that this is, sounds like the sort of film she would be desperate to watch. <laughs> yes, I think um, I think it will uh, sort of entertain uh, quite young children. But I think for me, I didn't enjoy this. I think it's a quite a weak story, even for younger viewers. I think with Pixar and so many others raising the bar for family films in the last 20 years, you've got to be really good to stand out in the age of streaming and when there's so many things available, uh, you know, at home and in the cinemas. Uh, and this just didn't do it for me. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, isn't it? It's like you say, the animation movies, and I've got I've got very used to them over the last couple of weeks. I say when my niece and nephew stay with me, there are literally hundreds of animated <laughs> movies, aren't there? Trust me, James, because I've sat there. <laughs> there are... <laughs> There's something or anything, isn't there? There is. I mean, um, it, it you know it's always been uh, a big draw to the cinema and and at home uh, those animated movies with of course the disney classics of 30 years ago so i think re things really exploded around the early 2000s with your sort of dreamworks and shrek and things like that and of course pixar kind of almost reinventing what it is to be an animated movie it doesn't have to be uh sort of uh, just things that will only entertain the kids it's something for everyone in the household and 
um, as such, as I say, the uh, the bar's been raised and you've really, really got to uh, be something special to stand out in uh, such a crowded marketplace. And this just didn't do didn't it for do me. It. Didn't do it. Right nope. then, now your on-demand choice. What have you got for us? It's an on-demand choice and it's uh, it's Coda and that's on Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, you can also see it in the cinema. British actor Amelia Jones plays a young woman who has to choose between her dream and the responsibilities she has as a translator for her deaf family. I've been coaching for Berklee College of Music. I can help you get a scholarship. I want to do this. There are plenty of pretty voices with nothing to say. Do you have something to say? Oh, that sounds very tense. Um, no, it's, it's, it, it, it is tense towards the end, but uh, I think throughout it's just a very funny, very heartfelt sort of coming of age story. And I loved it. Um, it's just told from a new perspective. This is a, you know, the on paper, it's a very similar story about a, a, a teenager, you know, choosing between the dream and trying to get out of their, their hometown. But it's told from a new perspective. There's a discussion uh, about the issues deaf people face in their community, but it's it's uh, more than anything just a story about family who really love each other and it, it's funny it's it's really heartfelt as i say um i would recommend seeing it at a cinema but if you're not quite ready you can check it out on uh, apple tv at home and i think that's a good thing about uh these hybrid releases that are ha happening at the moment wherever you want to see it you can catch a really good film James, always good to talk to you. Three great films that you've picked out for us. We'll have a look at those. And James, I'm covering for Phil next week so we can catch up again next Thursday. And uh, I'll look forward to it. Take care, James. Thanks very much. James Thank Rupert, you. James our films reviewer from Stratford-upon-Avon. Three great film choices for you to get and have maybe look at and watch over the weekend. The Sound of the Sky Blues.